Hey guys, welcome back. So it is our second lesson um, with Scratch. So we're going to go through and continue off where we left off. Um, we finished this and we are moving on to our next tutorial. Okay, this will be a video tutorial where we are going to be creating buttons. So you see here, using Scratch Editor, we'll create three buttons. It'll target and dynamically modify the properties of a sprite. Okay, so we need this guy. Um, and the things we're looking at is, uh, in this tutorial, we'll do more with costumes. Um, and we're going to be broadcasting and receiving messages and applying events. Okay, so that's sort of what we're covering here. Um, we don't need this one. Okay, so let's go to projects. Um, in fact, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, you can see this here. And if I take a look here um, and I run this, okay, we'll have three buttons. One does this, one does that, and the other goes through states. Okay, so that's how that's going to work. Okay, so let's how that works. So starting off with our, our interface, we're going to get rid of this um, cat because we don't need that, and we're going to introduce some new sprites. So we're going to need the button, okay, that brings that guy in, and we're also going to need the dino, which is this guy here. Okay, uh, I'm going to rename this one dino1, and button1 can stay as it is. I'm going to duplicate these by right-clicking and selecting duplicate because I'm going to need copies of each of these. Okay, so we've got button one, button a uh, dino one, button two, dino two, button three, dino three. And I'm just gonna spread these guys out. Figure out who's who. So this is dino three, I'm gonna put them over here. This is my dino one, dino two, and dino three. And in fact I'm gonna move it just up a little bit because I'm gonna put my buttons at the bottom. This is button three, this is button two. You can see when I click on them it it Tells me which is which. <clears throat> button one, button two, button three. Okay, and then I'm gonna put these guys just above. Okay, and I'm gonna set them so that they are. Let's make them thirty. 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 Okay, so they're all in the same kind of horizontal plane, and the rest doesn't really matter. I suppose I could do all these just to be. Uh, specific what is that one thirty? Okay. Oops. Okay, they're all lined up. Okay, so um, let's start off with button one. Okay, so we need to have uh, these guys move. So the first guy here, he's just gonna rotate. Okay, and we've seen how to do that before. This guy's just going to move his Y position continually up, and this guy's going to go through his states. And if we look at the costumes, um, these guys all have four costumes. Okay, one, two, three, four. And we're just going to cycle through, the, through those with the third button. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is, um, if we were not doing it with the buttons, that would be fairly straightforward. If I wanted this guy to rotate, I could just Bring this one out, and every time I click it, oops, wrong one. Let's try that again. So put it back to 90. And that would be on dino one. Um, okay, so I'll bring this guy out, and I can rotate him. Now, if I want that to go forever, I just need to grab a forever loop, put this inside here, and just click it, and off it goes. The trick here is that we want that to happen because of a button, and that's sort of the new functionality. Let's set this guy back to 90. All right, and here's the sort of key. I'm going to click on this button because this button is going to have the functionality on it, okay? And it's going to say an event when this sprite is clicked, meaning when this sprite is clicked, okay? It's going to do something called broadcasting. Now, broadcasting is just saying, it's like yelling. Okay, uh, it's going to broadcast a message. Now, I can just leave that as message one, but to be more specific and just to make things clear for later, I'm going to give it a, a kind of a specific message. Now, it doesn't matter what you name it, but it just helps if you can be kind of clear in your messaging. So I want that to spin. Okay, I want that dinosaur one to spin. So I'm just going to say um, dino one spin. And I've used a capital S on spin just to differentiate my, my, my words. Okay, now this this is Dino 1, and that's called Dino 1, but that doesn't matter. Just to make the point, I'll call it Dinosaur 1, okay? Because 
there's no necessarily no no link between those okay it's just the same a message called dinosaur one spin now this all that does is it just when this is clicked it broadcasts this but that doesn't do anything yet right if i if i run this and i and i click here it's not doing anything it's running this but that's just broadcasting a message somebody has to receive that message so let's go to dino one and let's give it some script okay so we're going to say when i receive i being dino one when dino one receives the message dino one spin it's going to move 15 degrees but not once it's going to continually do that forever okay when i receive the message dino one spin forever i am gonna loop and there we go okay and that just will continue going um as long as the the program is running okay, i can stop that by clicking here i'll set that back to 90 and that's now working okay so that is this button is broadcasting a message this is picking it up and receiving it now i could change this i could cut this out of here oops and i and i get rid of it and set this guy back to 90. i could put that on a different um dino if i want to i could take this guy here okay this is dino 2 now and do the same thing so events um when i receive this message and i can in fact put it on all of them right i could go um, when I receive this message uh, forever uh, okay and now when I click this it rotates this one because this is the one who's now receiving that message okay if I copy that and put on all of them you probably guess what happens right easy okay so they're all receiving the same message that this thing is saying it's saying start spinning and so or so it's it's sorry it's not that saying spinning it's saying um dinosaur spin right it's broadcasting this message and when that message uh, is sent these guys are all receiving it okay that's not necessarily what we want so let's set these guys back that guy happens to be at 90 this guy is going to go back to 90 and this guy's currently at 90 we want that okay i guess one in 360 let's get rid of those off of here and let's get one of that here so we've just left it on this sprite because this guy is going to have a different message so that message is going to come from this button, and the button is going to say um, when button 2 is clicked, broadcast a message. Not this message, but a new message. And the new message is going to be move up. And I could specify dino 2, but I don't need to. I can just say this is the message move up. When this dinosaur, or any of them, but in this case, I want this one to do it. When I receive the message move up I am forever going to move uh, or change my y by, oops, by whatever number you want but I'm gonna make it two. okay there we go and that will continue going it'll stop at the edge right there but it, it is still sending the message just the, the extent of the stage stops here okay Fifty, where it was, or sorry, thirty. Okay, good. So now we have two buttons. Button one sends this message. Button two sends this message, and Dino one and Dino two do these things when they receive both messages. Okay. Finally, um, button three is going to have a similar um, event. It's going to say when this sprite, meaning sprite three, when sprite three or button three is clicked. It's going to broadcast a new message. That new message is going to be uh, change costume. Okay. And when Dino 3 receives that message, when I receive change costume, I'm going to just go to my next costume. This doesn't need a forever because it, if I did have a forever, it would just loop through them. Right. So let's go see what that looks like. Okay, I click this, it's just going to keep going through, and that's not what I want. Okay, I could put in a, a control and say, wait one second, and then it would loop through them, uh, and it, like give an interval of 0.1. Okay, if you want that, way, we don't want that. We want this gone, and we just want it to go through. Every time I click it, go to the next costume. Okay, easy peasy, Japanesey. Um, give it a shot, and uh, once you figured this part out once you basically you just copy this tutorial and do the same thing um, and then when you run it you go here what I'd like you to do is 
do this and then add another button that resets everything. Okay, I'm gonna stop that, make that small. Just grab a new button from here. Doesn't matter what, it could be, you know, a different color button if that makes it easier for you. Uh, we're gonna stick that there. And we're gonna put a piece of script on there that says reset the position of all of these guys. So these all go back to 90. They're all gonna go back to um, costume one and they're all gonna be at a, a Y value of 30. Okay, let's see if you can do that part. Um, and all that is in here, there should be nothing that's super surprising. You should be able to figure out uh, all that based on the tutorial we've done thus far. Okay, good luck. Um, hope you guys are getting this and figuring out and practicing and trying stuff. Part of learning here, definitely part of learning here is trying to just see what this does. And if you experiment and try to, you know, you know, try different buttons and different effects and different controls and sounds and looks, you'll get this. It's not complicated. Um, it just takes some time um, and a willingness to fail and get it wrong and go, all right, why did that one work? Why did that not work? And how do I fix it? Okay. When you're done, make sure that you save this with your last name, please, and share it. Okay. So St. Romain dash six dash two, and then share. All right. Wonderful. Uh, hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and washing your hands a lot. Okay. Take it easy, guys. Bye.